Hello, this is Julie. I was asked today, how can I use the special characters in the Samantha font in the InView software? So I thought I'd just show you quickly. First of all, I'm going to click on the T on the left side, click my mouse on the screen, and I'll just type in a word, thanks. I have the Samantha Italic Pro font installed and selected here. That's why it went ahead and typed my text in that particular font. But in Samantha, they have lots of special characters, so I thought maybe I would change the T to a fancier T and maybe an A with a flourish and put a S with a flourish on the end just to show you how you might do that. In order to see all those characters, I need to go to another program that shows those characters. There is a free software called Nexus Font that works fine with this. So I'm going to double click on the icon and open this. And then I need to select the Samantha font that I want to use. I just typed S to get down to the S's and I'll move down just a little bit, maybe arrow down till I get to the Samantha Upright Pro or the Samantha Italic Pro. I think I'll, I'll use the Upright Pro. So I'm just going to click on this little dot next to the font that I want to use. Now that I have the font selected, I'm going to click on these this set of small dots up here, which is the character map, or you see the shortcut is Alt-C, and I'm using Windows, so this may be different on a Mac. Now I can see all the regular characters, and if I'd scroll down, I can see all 2,714 characters in this amazing font. But rather than scroll through everything, I'm looking for the special characters because I already have the main characters typed in to um, InView. But if I want to see the special characters, I need to go to the right where it says Private Use Area and click on that. And this is where we have all of the special characters for this font. And now I can go through here. I'm going to look for there in the capital letters show first and they're in alphabetical order. So I'm going to just go down to the T's because I need a T. And once I find one that I think I want, I will click on it and I can see a preview bigger over here in this window. If that's what I want, then I can click on select and it will be added to this tiny little screen here. So the next one I need are a couple lowercase letters which will be down lower below the uppercase letters and I need an A. I was thinking I might like something with a maybe a, a swirl over the top. You can look in the preview window and see if that's what you want. If you want something different you could select maybe a longer one. I think I'll, I'll select that one. You could either double click down here or you can just click on select and it'll be added to this little window. And then I'll look for an S for the end of the word. So I scroll down to the S's. All in alphabetical order. Some have lots of different alternates here and others have fewer, but they're all in alphabetical order. So I'm at the R's, moving down to the S's, and I see one over here that, that I like. You can see it up here, kind of add flourishes to the end of the word. So I'll select that. Once I have all the letters I think I might need, I'm going to highlight them with my mouse and then click on Copy. Now I'll just go into the InView software where I typed my word and I'm going to click on the preview window here, still with the 
font selected and it should be the same font I've got Samantha Italic Pro. Is that what I had over here? Oh, it's upright. So I need to make sure that that I am using the same font in both programs. I might get unexpected results. So that changed what I had already typed to the upright pro. I'm going to click my mouse here and now I'm going to click on preview. With my cursor in the edit box I'm going to type control V for paste and all those letters that I copied from Nexus font appear here in the window. I'm going to leave the size at, at one inch because the letters that I typed on the screen were at one inch and I'm going to click on apply. Now when I, I click on this group of letters, they're, they're all like a single word, so I need to break them apart. I'll go to Object, Text Manipulation, and Break by Character so that I can move these letters into position. So I'm just going to click on the first letter. That's an A. I'll just lay it over the other A in the word. This helps me get the spacing the way it originally typed in the T in place and now I'll just put the S over the original. Now if I can arrange these the way I want I, I can select the original word but I need to break it apart too because I'm going to be using a few of the original letters I'll break by character and I'm just going to click on the letters I don't want. I don't need the original T, I don't need the original A, and I don't need the original S. So with all of these now visible, I'm going to use my arrow keys. You could use the visual text spacing if you want to move these around. I want to get a position where the swirls look good and that's just really up to you how you want to arrange them. They can go closer or further away, up and down, just however you want them. I'm not sure that I like this. Maybe I want my T to actually be bigger to line up with the height of the, the pieces and this is where you have a chance to use your artistic discretion. So after I get it resized the way I want, I could weld this all together, but rather than weld, I'm going to select all this and use my inline outline tool that's next to the bottom tool on the left toolbar and use a outline, I'll click on outline here, and type in 0.01 which is just a small outline but if I were to cut these some of these pieces might be a little thin and if I give it an outline it'll be a little thicker and cut a little bit better. I can select a color that I want maybe I want it to be purple apply I want the fill to be the same as the outline I just drag that color here and then I'm going to preview it it looks good to me so I'm going to click on this little green check mark at the bottom and move it down. Now you can see the original and here is just slightly thicker. You can make it larger if you want. Perhaps your text is, is going to be more than an inch or less than an inch. You can set the outline but as you notice here there's no need to weld. It's all nice and thick and if we can go to to view and show wireframe and you can see that all the inside pieces are gone if we were to cut this up here it would all fall to pieces so you'd have to weld it but the no need to weld here when we use the shadow so I hope 
this has given you an idea for how to use the Samantha font using InView. Thanks for watching.